Earlier this week we uh, gave our fans the opportunity to post some questions on our Facebook and our Twitter accounts. Um, they submitted a whole bunch of questions so we'll post those questions to you guys and then uh, put it on a YouTube uh, video and then the guys will have the opportunity to hear what you guys have to say. So the first one comes from Ludovicus Adrianza via Facebook. He wants to know who's the funniest guy in the team and what practical jokes do they play? Schalke Dorf is quite a funny, funny guy. We played in um, Maddersburg last year and I went out with, um, with some of my friends there and when I came back, uh, he and Morden were called Ransack My Room. They basically put sugar in my bed and um, they put sour gel on my toothbrush and, and it's, uh, basically they started the war and then I put uh, rocks in jock shoes and I put butter on his sunglasses. <laughs> So that's what happened, and now and then it still happens. Okay, so basically, is it just Rock Jacques Rudolph, or is there? I think there's also Albie Morkel. He's got this very dry sense of humour, and there's funny things that he does and says is always funny without him even trying. Okay, cool. All right, next one is from Lynn McLean Lotter. Uh, she wants to know who's the most superstitious in the team, and what do they do before a game? Well, first of all, it's definitely not me. I'm not superstitious at all. Um. I don't think we've got a lot of superstitious no guys. Neil McKenzie. No Neil McKenzie on our side, no. Okay, cool. Uh, the next one is from Eckhart Rabe. This is to you, I know. Uh, he wants to know, is it difficult to stay positive as a wicketkeeper knowing that really only one player uh, is eligible for the national keeper at a time? So it's unlike a bowler where you've got four, four bowlers playing in the team, there's only one keeper spot. So is it difficult to stay motivated? I don't think it's too difficult to stay motivated. You just go out and play, play your game and do your best. And the good thing about that is that if you're in the side, then it's the other way around. Then you've got a lot of like people aiming for your job, and you just there's only one spot, so you pretty much sorted for a couple of games at least. Cool. Then next, Jaku Khuisen asked by Twitter, um, he wants to know whether the Titans have given thought to signing an overseas player like Chris Gale that could really win a game on his own. I think the strength in the Titans is really that um, we play good together as a team and even like a guy like Alfonso Thomas who came and played with us in a Pro 20 game, he's an ex-Titans player and he brought so much experience and knowledge towards the team um, and that's what, what, that, what that helps us, okay. being, being a team. Great. Then uh, Jean-Dre Necker, also on Twitter, wanted to know, do you guys play golf? What's your handicap? And who's the best golf players in the team? I think our team's a very big golfing team. Um, every chance we get, we go and play, especially there at Swartkop, our home ground um, course. And I think we're all uh, at between 7 and 14s. Mm. And yeah, we're pretty consistent there. There's a couple, the of, worst golfer? couple of ringers in our team. Okay. Um, Henry David, Davids, biggest Beacon, yeah. ringer. And probably the worst would be. Paul Harris. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not the bad, is he? No, no, he's like a 16, he's not the bad. He's, no, he's not going to enjoy it. that. But um, probably someone like um, Yara. Rowan Yara Richards or Ethan Blatt, who don't really like to play. Oh, okay. Cool, then uh, John Dre again wanted to know this is an interesting one. If Tata Cars wanted to sponsor your car, would you say yes? <laughs> I wouldn't mind if it's a bucket. Okay, on condition that it's a bucket. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not a bucket fan, so. <laughs> See, I can get it. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, great. Then, um, via Facebook again, Jake South, he wanted to know what's the worst and the best part about being a professional cricket player, and when did you first realize that you were good enough to play cricket professionally? I think the best part is traveling the world and playing on different grounds and staying in nice hotels, people looking after you. Uh, one of the worst things is also hotels, uh, airports, and living out of your suitcase for, for like weeks on end. Jake South also wanted to know, when did you first realize that you were good enough to become a professional player? I, I realized that I could play um, professional when I could, for, could, could, with my first, like first class wicket. And not that I, because I knew, okay, maybe I can, I can do this. And then from there on, it gets, it's not, it's, cricket is never an easy game. It always comes back to bite you somewhere, but um, you have to believe in yourself to, that, 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 that you will do well. And yourself, Aina? I think it was my parents' choice, really. Um, when they sent me to Uppies um, to go and 
like further my cricket career there, my well, my sport career, and then probably from after school when I started playing for the amateurs and did pretty well, and then you know it just goes up and up, and then you start realizing maybe this is for me and it's going well, so let's pursue it. And go on. Cool. Then Adrian van Dissen asked on Twitter, uh, are there any players in the squad that listen to metal or hard rock music? Peter Milan is probably the only one that I know of who likes pretty hot mm. music. Yeah, he's not that metal, but like L Lincoln Park and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the only one. And then he had a second question, he wanted to know if is David Visa the fourth musketeer? He is the musketeer. <laughs> he's not the fourth musketeer. <laughs> he's all three. Yeah. All right. Then again for Heiner, this one. Um, I don't know if this is specific reference to something happened in the past. He says, does Heiner still bowl black bowling dancers to overseas tourists? I uh, remember this one. Um, yeah, one of um, my friends, Mona and Albie's friend, from England came over and he wanted to have a little bat in the nets to see how it, how it feels and Mourne bowled to him like off two paces and then I decided listen I'm gonna try as well so I ran in <laughs> I bounced him and hit him uh, but no no love lost there but yeah it was pretty funny uh, right. I was I was a little bit injured after it I pulled my hammy <laughs> but <laughs> we won't talk about that but you stick to bowling in the nets I don't bowl in the nets anymore my, uh, my back is not gonna last if I, if I bowl right. in the nets Cool, then Edward Fenter asked on Twitter, uh, do Faf Duplicy spend more than an hour each day in the mirror before getting dressed? Now, I don't know if you guys would know that. Mm. Definitely. Definitely, more than an hour. Uh, oh, no, it's just far off though. I've got no comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then uh, the second last okay. question is from Cornel Ruiz, also on Twitter. Who is the most positive guy in the squad who always motivates everybody? I know he's pretty good at that. He's, he's always the one to, when it doesn't go well in the field, to keep our heads up and to always to look forward to the next occasion, next ball, whatever. Uh, not to be, to, to, because sometimes it, it does get hard and stuff, and especially as a bowler, when, especially in a four-day cricket, when nothing happens for you. Uh, he's always good to keep you, to keep you motivated. It's a typical of a wicket keeper. Yeah. Just doing my job. <laughs> job. All right, then the last one, then you guys can can leave the next. Uh, the last one is uh, to Aina specifically. He said, um, Lee could see you. I uh, wanted to know on Twitter, do you feel like a huge burden has been lifted now that you've scored your maiden ODD title? For the Titans. For the Titans. Uh, I don't really think about it, to be honest. Um, every game I go out, I just, I just bet and try to try to get that hundred and luckily it happened now but yeah it's just another it's just another couple of runs that I've scored to help the Titans win. Awesome. Alright that's it guys thanks for joining us. Short. Um, it's been good.